Hi, my name's Margie and my armpits are purging. Yeah, what does that mean you might ask? So, hi and welcome back to the show. Here's the deal folks. I don't know if you've ever heard of armpit purging, but I'm gonna talk to you about it right now because it's happening to me. I've been using deodorant. We've all heard of it, we all probably use it. I've been using deodorant, you know, since I was a preteen or whatever. Long story short, I've cycled through different deodorants. I've tried Secret, Women's, Men's, Old Spice, Red Spice, don't think that's a thing, whatever, whatever, Arm & Hammer, all these types. Here's the deal though. The most recent deodorant that I was using, I'm actually staring at it right now through the crack in my door, Ultramax Arm & Hammer Cool Blast Antiperspirant Deodorant. Okay, I'm not the type that just does deodorant. I need a good antiperspirant because I don't want to be sweating. You know what I'm saying? Well, here's the deal. It is officially June in LA and I've been going on a lot of walks and let me tell you, I have been noticing when I come back from my walks, I freaking stink. Actually, thankfully I just showered so I don't stink right now, but I have really been stinking. But here's what was happening recently with this deodorant slash antiperspirant. I would go in the shower to, you know, unstink my pits and I would use my loofah and my body wash and stuff. And I felt like my pores were clogged with this stuff and I couldn't even get the stench out. It was weird, it was gross, and I knew it was time for a change. So, step two, I moved on to Old Spice Plain Old Deodorant. Smells great, la la la, no antiperspirant, so no clogged pores, full of aluminum. We all know the drill. Actually, FYI, if you don't know the drill, antiperspirant deodorants use aluminum to essentially clog your sweat pores so you don't sweat, but there may or may not be a link to breast cancer, so some people have decided to start eliminating aluminum from their armpits. Wow, say that five times fast. Eliminating aluminum from their armpits. Wow. Okay, so I'm moving away from that. Started doing wolf horn, just deodorant. Well, guess what? I went to Arizona for 10 days. It was 110 degrees outside and I was doing workouts outside and I was sweating from my armpit to my feet, dripping. Clearly this was not doing the trick. Well, whilst on the Zoom workouts, one of my good friends told me she started using natural deodorant, specifically Kopari. This is not an ad, don't worry. It's coconut oil based, it's totally natural, no aluminum. And she was like, listen, like I, and she works out, so I trust her. And she was like, I stopped sweating, like kind of altogether. So I was like, heck yeah, ordered this the same day. It arrived June 6th, today is June 21st. Well, let me tell you, something she didn't warn me about. Purging. All right, let me go into detail about this. I've done a little research. When you transfer over, when you do the switch from regular deodorant, antiperspirant with aluminum to natural deodorant, you're gonna go through a purging phase. Basically, you've been using antiperspirant your whole life or whatever, and your sweat pores have just been clogged with aluminum, so you're not sweating. Well, guess what? Now that you stop using it, your body is detoxing and basically sweating a ton to get rid of all the toxins that have built up in there. That's my quick summary slash my understanding of it. Long story short, no one told me I was gonna start sweating profusely from every pore of my body. I'm telling you, the backs of my knees are sweating and dripping to my feet all the time. It's just like a pond is coming out. And also it kind of smells bad, kind of stinks. Like I never even stunk before. Now I feel like I stink more than ever. So I did my research, I asked a lot of people and they said, this is the purging phase. You're gonna sweat a lot, sweat a ton, you're gonna smell bad and then eventually it will be over and it's somewhere lasts between two weeks and a month. I'm officially on two weeks and a day. So I'm really hoping it ends. But I'm still stinky. I, like I literally just showered. So thankfully I'm not dripping sweat yet, but it's gonna come, don't worry. But I also was suggested, meanwhile, while you're purging and all these toxins are coming out, you should do the infamous armpit detox mask. So obviously I Amazoned hmm, all the ingredients and we're gonna do that today. Let me get the ingredients, let's start this bad boy. Also, stick around to the end of this video or if you get bored, just flip to the end because I have a special announcement about my next video. We are gonna pull out all the toxins in my armpits in five to 20 minutes today and hope that I stop stinking so badly. Ingredients have been acquired. It's literally so easy. We've got this Indian healing clay. This was the thing I had to buy. Then, oh, I had to buy this too. Lemon essential oils. These are not required, but I guess it helps it smell a little better and you can pick any flavor you want, but I went with lemon. You know what I mean? I feel like that's, 
It literally smells like, like a lemon, like those lemon um, cough drops. Mm -hmm. it smells really good. Like the ones that you basically eat like candy. It smells great. And then we've got apple cider vinegar. Already had this in my house. So three steps, let's go. Let's paint the town red and let's paint my armpits gray with clay. <laughs> that rhymes, bye. All right, it is concoction time. <sighs> to start with one tablespoon of clay. This is natural calcium bentonite green clay. Mm. One tablespoon. Okay. Ding. And they say don't use a metal bowl, FYI. This one should be glass or porcelain. I don't know what this is. Stoneware. One to two tablespoons of apple cider vin. Let's do one. I'll probably pour a little extra, you know what I'm saying. Ooh. Ooh, it's stinky. Mm. It like already is burning my mouth thinking about how I, used to, I drink this sometimes. One to two teaspoons of water. Okay, water from this mug. Okay, here we go, team. Oh. Pour it in the water, okay. We did it, right? Ooh, two to three drops of essential oil, probably so this smells a little less vinegary. Okay, two to three drops. Okay, that looks Mm, no, lemon and lemon and apple cider vinegar are interesting combination. Let me go get a mixer. Okay, time to mix our concoction. I feel like you want to see this. Wow, it's kind of um dry. It's pretty clay-like, pretty thick, you know. Wow. Okay. Back on the couch, mixing this up pretty thick, but then I just put this on my armpits for five to 20 minutes. So, okay. I also prematurely peed because I did watch one video about this and the girl was like, also you kind of have to keep your armpits up for the whole time or else it'll just clump off. So I don't know, let's just put this on. Here we go. Hey Siri, start a timer for 20 minutes. It's beginning. Okay. Well, I should probably pause that, but whatever. Ew, this is super gross. Here we go. Ew, woohoo. Oh gosh, clumpy. Oh my goodness. All right. <gasps> wow. Mm, it doesn't smell too bad with the lemon. I highly, oh, it's very cool. Oh, also, I guess it says if it burns, like you can take it off. Or you don't have to keep it on as long if it's burning. Right now, it feels pretty cooling. Like it's a cooling effect. Pull out those. Toxins, mama. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna use all of it. Why not? You know what I'm saying? I ain't putting this on anything else. Oh, wow, that is cool. fantastic. Probably shouldn't have done this over like my white couch, but whatever. I'm kind of hovering. Okay, I feel like that is it. I feel like I did it. Yeah, we're good. Okay. <laughs> Waits here for 20 minutes. Oh, I'm out of breath. It says 1842 left, even though I kind of just put it on. Okay, so far no burning. I feel like I kind of just have to like sit like this. <sighs> For a little bit, you know. I wonder, should I like look up the effects of like what this is actually doing? Okay. Okay. Kind of have to do like spider arms. I, oh, my hair's in it. Frick, are you kidding me? All right, put your hair up before you do this. If anyone has good natural deodorant suggestions, put them in, you know, below. But yeah, this purging phase is horrendous. Horrendous. Maybe it'll be done by July 4th since I started July 6th. Shake, shake, shake your money maker. Oh, it's drying. Oh, some put, okay, here's a fun fact. Some people put coconut oil in this to make it more soothing. I definitely wish I had done that because it also has antibacterial properties thanks to the coconut oil. So maybe add that. Wow. It says, listen to this fun fact. The truth is your natural deodorant isn't making you smell worse. The bacterial communities under your arms are changing and it doesn't happen overnight. It can take up to 30 days for your body to fully detox from aluminum. Holy crap. Meanwhile, 
for 30 days she waits. Okay, honestly, like I'm out of breath, so that's good to know. <sighs> All right, see you in a minute. All right, quick update. I just walked over to the mirror and I realized you do kind of have to keep your arms up because it is clumping. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Here's the deal is my arms are so tired. This is gonna work out. This is gonna be a workout. This is gonna be a workout for your arms. Warning to you. All right, I got 12 minutes left of this detox. Okay, I'm gonna wash this bowl out. All right, you have to be careful because if you do go running around, you're gonna leave random droplets of the mask around you. Just left some on my couch. Was trying to do the dishes. Left some on the ground. So, word to the wise, pick a comfy spot and lay down, okay? Learn from my mistakes. Don't go dropping your armpit mask around your house. Okay. I just gotta do this. I'm wreaking havoc everywhere. It's weird, they drop off like they're hard clumps, but then they just go right into your couch or something. Maybe I should lay on the floor. I feel like I'm a threat to all upholstery everywhere. Hmm. Uh, okay, how much time? Eight minutes? <sighs> really? Oh my gosh, literally. Oh my gosh, that's the crumbles. It's crumbling all over. It's like it's time, it must be time, because now it's officially just dropping off my armpits. Like, do you see all that crumbly goodness? It just fell off my armpits, so let's go take this off. All right, we're doing it right now. We're taking this off. I need like a bowl, hold on. Strong arms, prepare yourself. I'm panting. Gross. Hey Siri, how much time's left on my timer? It's running at four minutes and 25 seconds. Great, I would do this for 15 minutes, that's enough. Oh no. Didn't think the part through where it wasn't just gonna come off easily. It's kind of off. The remnant. It's on my, it's on my camera too. Great, be careful everybody. Okay, quick word to the wise. Um, not only should you stay still when you're doing this, but also freaking use a warm rag to take it off. 10 times easier, done. Okay, don't use paper towels, bad idea. Okay team, the mask is off. Smells pretty neutral, but like remnant apple cider vinegar. However, I smell like a deep layer of clean to it, so it could be good news. Um, but I'm obviously gonna put this to the test and work out slash go on a walk today outside where I always get stinky and come back and figure it out and just see how it goes. But so far so good. Yeah, it's pretty neutral in there. Now I will see you after the test. Bye. Okay, I also just pop back on here really fast because my armpits feel extremely soft, okay? I didn't even use the coconut oil, but oh my gosh, Truly, I feel very, 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 very smooth down here. Clean and baby bottom smooth. So regardless, that's a plus. All right, team, guess what? It's 4.53 p.m. I just got back from a one hour, what is that noise? Yep, a full one hour walk outside in the sweltering Los Angeles June heat, late June heat. And I had no deodorant on and I'm about to do the armpit test post detox sniff test. I will say my armpits did not drip, no drippage. There was a tad bit of wetness at one point, but no drippage. Here comes the ultimate stink test. Armpit number one. Pretty good. Like the fact that I can aggressively inhale still smells pretty good. Armpit number two. Okay, worse, whoa. Yeah, that one's worse, okay. I don't hate that. I don't hate the results. What I think I might do 
if I'm feeling crazy, is do an actual 45 minute like crazy, crazy workout in my apartment later and that will be the serious test. But honestly, I'm kind of pleased with that because here's the deal, I could have put deodorant on, you know what I'm saying? But I went bare naked. There's definitely some aroma, but it ain't horrible. Also, before I go, I do wanna mention, so this is the all natural deodorant that I've been using, which is coconut oil Kopari deodorant. I'll link it. Got it on Amazon, bang, boom, you know the drill. But also, I was posting on this on my Instagram asking people how long this purging was gonna last. Answer, two weeks to 30 days. Some people say longer, but that's generally it. Um, there's also Secret makes aluminum free deodorant, which let me tell you, this is coconut flavored. I got this at my local grocery store. This smells amazing. Like this, I feel like is a great in-between for people who don't need fully natural. They're not looking for like an all natural situation. They're just looking for aluminum free. Both are great options. I do think this gives me more, more protection than this one does. This one I'm just dripping right through so far, but it's because I'm purging, so TBD. And this one I think works a little better and I love the scent of it. This one ironically smells like gardenias, even though it's made of coconut oil. I thought it was gonna Great options to get rid of the aluminum. Look how tiny my head looks. <laughs> to get rid of the aluminum from Yo Pits. Go make yourself an at home armpit detox mask. It may or may not be helpful. I think the biggest test will be like over the next week do I stop purging? What's the situation on the purge? But overall, not mad at it today, okay? Do it laying down. Don't do it on your couch and don't do it on a rug. That's my last tip. Love you. Really quick update, I ended up getting carried away singing something, haven't done my workout yet, but let me tell you, there's sirens outside letting you know that my pits were dripping sweat. But honestly, not too bad, but I did have to put on the no aluminum secret because it was just dripping sweat. So if you do the detox, it sounds like you're still gonna drip during the purge. See that? Um, okay, you're still gonna drip, but I do feel like maybe it reeks less. Like, I'm getting a pretty good whiff in there. But maybe overall, I detoxed, maybe I didn't. I mean, the reviews in the first place were pretty up in the air, like if this did anything. So, it was kind of fun though. That's my final review. You're gonna purge if you get rid of aluminum deodorant. Just get used to it, get used to the purging, and let's pray it ends as soon as possible. But, I think it's probably good for you. But who knows, it's all up in the air. <laughs> At the end of the day, do what you gotta do, but I hope you like this video, because I love you. Okay, so congratulations, you made it to the end of this video. Listen up, everybody. I have something exciting for my next one. So, someone on my YouTube, shout out to whoever you are, made a suggestion, because I love my couch confessional, oh, spot so much, that I should invite you guys to submit your own confessions to me, and I'm gonna read them on the couch. And they'll be totally anonymous, don't worry. So. For my next video, I am going to do quarantine confessions. And I need your help here, people. I need you to submit your juiciest, your most secret, top secret, PG, PG-13, R-rated, maybe not R-rated, secret confessions. And so I need you to submit them to me so I can have, my, I can have content for my next episode. You know, I call these things episodes. Quarantine confessions. So listen, I am going to put an email address right here. You email it. You can make your own email that's totally anonymous. I have I will not be looking up your identities. Do not worry. Email it here and give me your best, secretest, most juiciest quarantine confession. It can be along the lines of you have secretly eaten a whole bowl of brownie batter every single night of quarantine. I am here for it. Or it can be I don't know, you developed a crush on your neighbor and you don't know what to do about it. Or, it, it, there's a lot. Or, your armpits are purging. You haven't shaved your armpits in 17 weeks. Give them to me and so I can read them on my couch and I will never reveal your identities. Don't worry. Also, if you don't see this, I'm also probably gonna post about it on my Instagram so you can submit them there. But, email this email and you can 
Submit your quarantine confessions and I can read them out loud on my couch, couch, couch on the next episode of Quarantine Confessions, okay? I love you. Thanks for watching to the end of this and get your friends to submit too. Everyone can submit. Probably in the, the description here, I'll tell you when the deadline is, but I love you so much and keep them coming or even submit them after the deadline. You never know. I fall behind on these things. Okay, I love you so much. Bye.